In colorimetry and color theory, lightness, also known as value or tone, is a representation of variation in the perception of a color or color space's brightness. It is one of the color appearance parameters of any color appearance model. Various color models have an explicit term for this property. The Munsell color model uses the term value, while the HSL color model, hydrogen chloride color space and lab color space use the term lightness. The HSV model uses the term value a little differently. A color with a low value is nearly black, but one with a high value is the pure, fully saturated color. In subtractive color e.g., paints value changes through various tints and shades can be achieved by adding black or white, respectively, to the color. However, this also reduces saturation. Chiaroscuro and tenebrism both take advantage of dramatic contrasts of value to heighten drama in art. Artists may also employ shading, subtle manipulation of value. Topic lightness and human perception While HSL, HSV, and related spaces serve well enough to, for instance, choose a single color, they ignore much of the complexity of color appearance. Essentially, they trade off perceptual relevance for computation speed. From a time in computing history, high end 1970s graphics workstations, or mid 1990s consumer desktops, when more sophisticated models would have been too computationally expensive, HSL and HSV are simple transformations of the RGB color model which preserve symmetries in the RGB cube unrelated to human perception, such that its R, G, and B corners are equidistant from the neutral axis, and equally spaced around it. If we plot the RGB gamut in a more perceptually uniform space, such as CIELAB, it becomes immediately clear that the red, green, and blue primaries do not have the same lightness or chroma, or evenly spaced hues. Furthermore, different RGB displays use different primaries, and so have different gamuts. Because HSL and HSV are defined purely with reference to some RGB space, they are not absolute color spaces. To specify a color precisely requires reporting not only HSL or HSV values, but also the characteristics of the RGB space they are based on, including the gamma correction in use. If we take an image and extract the hue, saturation, and lightness or value components, and then compare these to the components of the same name as defined by color scientists, we can quickly see the difference, perceptually. For example, examine the following images of a fire breather fig. 1. The original is in the sRGB color space. CIELABL asterisk is a CIE defined achromatic lightness quantity dependent solely on the perceptually achromatic luminance Y, but not the mixed chromatic components X or Z, of the CIE XYZ color space from which the sRGB color space itself is derived, and it is plain that this appears similar in perceptual lightness to the original color image. Luma y, the gamma encoded lightness component of some video encoding systems such as Yeek and Yuv is roughly similar, but differs somewhat at high chroma, where it deviates most from a true achromatic luma such as luminance y linear, or the similarly achromatic L** perceptually uniform and nonlinear, and is influenced by the colorimetric chromaticity X, y, or equivalently, A** B** of CIELAB. HSLL and HSVV diverge substantially from perceptual lightness. Topic: <laughs> Relationship to value and relative luminance. The Munsell value has long been used as a perceptually uniform lightness scale. A question of interest is the relationship between the Munsell value scale and the relative luminance. Aware of the Weber Fechner law, Munsell remarked, Should we use a logarithmic curve or curve of squares? 
Neither option turned out to be quite correct. Scientists eventually converged on a roughly cube root curve, consistent with the Stevens power law for brightness perception, reflecting the fact that lightness is proportional to the number of nerve impulses per nerve fiber per unit time. The remainder of this section is a chronology of lightness approximations, leading to CIE Lab. Note. Munzel's V runs from 0 to 10, while Y typically runs from 0 to 100 often interpreted as a percentage. Typically, the relative luminance is normalized so that the «reference white» say, magnesium oxide has a tristimulus value of Y. Topic 100. Since the reflectance of magnesium oxide (MgO) relative to the perfect reflecting diffuser is 97.5% V. 10 corresponds to Y equals 197.5% approximately equals 102.6 if MgO is used as the reference. 1920. Priest et al. provide a basic estimate of the Munzel value with y running from 0 to 1 in this case v equals 10 y display style v equals 10 sqrt y 1933 Munzel, Sloan, and Godlove launch a study on the Munzel neutral value scale, considering several proposals relating the relative luminance to the Munzel value, and suggest V 2 equals 1.474 2 y minus 0.004. 743 y 2 display style v caret 2 equals 1.474 2y minus 0.004 743 y caret 2 1943 Newhall, Nickerson and Judd prepare a report for the Optical Society of America they suggest a quintic parabola relating the reflectance in terms of the value y equals 1.221 9 v minus 0 0.231 11 v 2 plus 0 0.239 51 v 3 minus 0 0.021 009 v 4 plus 0 0.000 840 4 v Five display style y equals one point two two one nine volts minus zero point two three one eleven volts carrot two plus zero point two three nine fifty one volts carrot three minus zero point zero two one o o nine v carrot four plus zero point zero 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 eight hundred and forty four volts carrot five nineteen forty three Using Table 2 of the OSA report, Moon and Spencer express the value in terms of the relative luminance V equals 5 Y 19.77 0 0.426 equals 1 4 Y 0 0.426 display style v equals 5 y 19.77 caret 0 0.426 equals 1.4 y caret 0 0.426 1944 
Saunderson and Milner introduce a subtractive constant in the previous expression, for a better fit to the Munsell value. Later, Jameson and Hervich claim that this corrects for simultaneous contrast effects. V equals 2.357 y 0 0.343 minus 1.52 display style v equals 2.357 y caret 0 0.343 minus 1.52 1955 Ladd and Pinney of Eastman Kodak are interested in the Munsell value as a perceptually uniform lightness scale for use in television after considering one logarithmic and five power law functions per Stevens power law, they relate value to reflectance by raising the reflectance to the power of 0 0.352 V equals 2.217 Y 0 0.352 minus 1.324 Display style v equals 2.217 y caret 0.352 minus 1.324. Realizing this is quite close to the cube root, they simplify it to v equals 2.468 y 1 3 minus 1.636 display style v equals 2.468 y caret 1/3 minus 1.636 1958 Glasser et al define the lightness as 10 times the Munsell value so that the lightness ranges from 0 to 100 l equals 25.29 Y one three minus eighteen point three eight Display style L carrot star equals twenty five point two nine Y carrot one third minus eighteen point three eight. Nineteen sixty four Wizeki simplifies this to W equals twenty five Y one third minus seventeen. Display style W carrot star equals twenty five Y carrot one third minus seventeen. This formula approximates the Munsell value function for one percent CIE lab uses the following formula L equals one hundred and sixteen Y Y N one third minus sixteen. Display style L carrot star equals one hundred and sixteen Y Y underscore Mathram N carrot one third minus sixteen, where Y N is the CIE XYZ Y tristimulus value of the reference white point, the subscript N suggests normalized and is subject to the restriction Y Y N greater than zero point zero one. Pauli removes this restriction by computing a linear extrapolation which maps Y Y N. Topic zero to L asterisk zero n is tangent to the formula above at the point at which the linear extension takes effect. First, the transition point is determined to be y y n equals six twenty ninths cubed approximately equals zero point zero zero eight eight hundred and fifty six. Then the slope of twenty nine thirds cubed approximately equals nine hundred and three point three is computed. This gives the two-part function f t equals t one third if t greater than six twenty nine three one three twenty nine six two t plus four twenty nine otherwise display style f t equals begin cases t caret one third and text if t greater than big frac six twenty nine big caret three frac one three big Frac twenty nine six big carrot two T plus frac four twenty nine and text otherwise end cases the lightness is then L equals one hundred and sixteen F Y Y N minus sixteen. 
Display style L carrot star equals one hundred and sixteen F Y Y underscore Mathram N minus sixteen. At first glance, you might approximate the lightness function by a cube root, an approximation that is found in much of the technical literature. However, the linear segment near black is significant, and so the 116 and 16 coefficients. The best fit pure power function has an exponent of about 0.42, far from one third, and approximately 18% gray card, having an exact reflectance of 33/58 3. Display style left 33/58 right caret 3 has a lightness value of 50. It is called mid gray because its lightness is midway between black and white. Topic: Other psychological effects. This subjective perception of luminance in a nonlinear fashion is one thing that makes gamma compression of images worthwhile. Beside this phenomenon there are other effects involving perception of lightness. Chromacity can affect perceived lightness as described by the helmholtz kollrausch effect. Though the CIE lab space and relatives do not account for this effect on lightness, it may be implied in the Munsell color model. Light levels may also affect perceived chromacity, as with the Purkinje effect. Topic. See also Brightness Tints and shades Notes <laughs>